The media is trying to rig the election by giving credence, and this is so true, by giving credence to false stories that have no validity. They take a story with absolutely nothing that didn't exist, and they put it front page news because they want to poison the minds of the voters. They take things and statements and put it in from 30 years ago, from 20 years ago. By the way, just so you understand, just to be very clear, events that never happened, just you do understand that. All right, Donald Trump earlier tonight campaigning in the swing state of Wisconsin. Joining us now, Laura Ingram. You know, when you think of Donald Trump and all that he's been through in the last two weeks and the Republican establishment stabbing him in the back and sabotaging him, <laughs> Paul Ryan, and you think of the Democrats doing everything they could do to sabotage, and then you think about the media on Team Clinton, and then you look at the polls, Washington Post, ABC, of only a four-point spread. He's up four in Ohio. And he's dead even in North Carolina and Nevada. It's yeah. frankly a miracle. Yeah, I mean, four points is not that much. He has to flip a number of these uh, battleground states, Sean. There's no doubt about it, unless the polls are wildly off. He's got work to do. I will say um, that, that it, what, what's incredible here is that if Republicans, and I mean all Republicans, every last one of them were united and they were fanning out across America, going through the list of WikiLeaks revelations that I have on my sheet here, which is stunning. Well, I'm going to put them up. I'm going to put, put them up on the oh, screen. Hey, we'll split our screen. It's crazy. Yeah, let's 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 put that up on the screen because when you look at the enormity of the corruption, the media's involvement, the campaigns being, uh, you know, uh, being, uh, you know, on a string for the media, like puppeteers at, at, at the campaign yeah. with members of the media. All the other things you have there, the, the Hillary saying, I have a public and private uh, position. Uh, what well, that means she so lies. Well, interpret that. She, that. She's admitting she lies. I'm going to tell things. you one thing in public, but in private, I'm going to tell you something totally different. And we have specific instances that she does it over and over again. It's hilarious yeah, and, and, on one level. Yeah, and, and also, Sean, when she's talking about, uh, she's talking about she wants a better relationship with Russia, and she hopes we can have a better relationship with Putin. Now she criticizes Trump at various times for indicating we don't want to be at war with Russia. Of course, now as President Obama is basically threatening war with Russia, uh, looks like wag the dog to a lot of people. Uh, but, but Sean, think about it. If every Republican, with, with that graphic up on the screen, if every Republican went coast to coast and all they did was talk about the corruptocrats in the Clinton campaign and what they would do to America, if that's all they did, and then talked about how Trump's plan for prosperity and tax reform well, here's would create a problem, jobs though, and opportunity. Laura. Would be up, up 10 points. Okay, here's a problem. Guys like Paul Ryan, who I've lost a lot of respect for, have spent more time attacking Trump than bringing up what you and I are talking about, or right. talking about Supreme Court justices and the type that Hillary would appoint, or the need for a border wall. Or Hillary, you want to talk about one of the most corrupt things she mentions here? Is She says, oh, we can't vet refugees. Well, she's going to bring them in at, a, at an increase of 550 percent. That means, by her own admission, she's gambling with the lives of the American people. Why isn't Paul Ryan talking about that? I think in 23 days, win, lose, or draw, we need a long conversation about whether or not he should be Speaker of the House. Well, I, I, I think you know, anyone who calls himself or herself a Republican or a conservative who is not doing everything in his or her power legally, <laughs> unlike the Clintons, to stop Hillary Clinton from, from becoming president really has lost all ability or all credibility uh, or, uh, to, to be complaining in the future if Hillary Clinton should become president. Don't complain about Supreme Court justices. Don't complain about anemic uh, GDP. Don't complain about anything because when you could have worked to stop her, you were dumping all over Trump every chance you got or sitting on the sidelines and, and hoping secretly and, 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 and texting your friends, aha, you know, Trump's behind. I don't want to hear from any of these people. If Hillary Clinton wins this, God help our country, but don't complain when you spent most of your time oh, no. Laura, going after Donald Trump. They own it. They, and I'm going to tell you, and Paul Ryan and Republicans have been more critical of Donald Trump of than they've they ever been about Obama, than they've ever been about Hillary, and frankly, their weakness created Donald Trump. Their broken promises yeah, helped create Donald Trump.
Yeah, he's a symptom exactly. of what right, they didn't do for the people. Sean, just one more thing. In the, yeah. in the uh, Veritas tape, uh, what they did was they also made, they were basically making fun of mentally ill people because they were saying, we throw out these mentally ill people to yeah. create and these disruptions. And homeless people. Lots yeah, of stuff. And homeless. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, we'll get to more of that tomorrow night. By the way, James O'Keefe told me today that tomorrow's tape is going to be bigger than today. So we'll see. Yeah. Will All CNN right, cover Laura, it? Will MSNBC cover it, Sean? That's no. the question. No, the CNN has, uh, has operatives that give questions to their favorite liberals before debates in town halls. Thank you, Donna Brazil. And, and, <laughs> yeah, and, then, and then MSNBC literally takes verbatim questions before Hillary Clinton interviews and then reads it verbatim. That's Unbelievable. Sleazy. Sleazy.